Welcome back once more, ladies and gentlemen, to Burgundy. We are at 1890, September 18th. We are at peace, once again, hopefully, lasting for a bit longer this time. We are rapidly getting rid of our war exhaustion, only having 23.44 left out of a maximum of 50 in peacetime. So that's good. Those are good news. Good news all around. Though there is a war in the middle of Europe. In Central Europe there is a war here between Bohemia and the Danubian Confederation. Let's take a look at what it is about. It is about the Danubian liberation of Hungarian Österreich. So Danubia is trying to take Hungarian Österreich, which means what exactly? Is it this place here? It is. It's Eisenstadt. They are trying to take that back. Which I suppose is a worthwhile goal since there are the Danubian Confederation. And it is really Germany, including Austria this time. So we'll see how that goes. It is currently undecided and fairly evenly matched, I, might, I must say. Even though they do have the upper hand. At the same time, Spain needs to go away and Aragon needs to go away. But that still leaves about the same difference anyway. Bohemia is much stronger than the Nubian Confederation. But they do have the Commonwealth on their side. So I'd say... I'd say that this side, the Bohemian side, has the upper hand for now, but it could go either way, depending on how strong the Commonwealth is. Now if the Commonwealth could throw in their allies into the mix, they would definitely win. But unfortunately they can't, so we'll just have to wait and see. One thing I noticed now while I was trying to prepare for a recording is that the steel steamer's invention here, or this technology, will allow for certain inventions here, like destroyers, which actually fundamentally changes how monitors and ironclad works. Well, not really how they work, but more the value of them. So this one will add a build time of 50 days to monitor, which is fairly substantial, but it will increase the max speed of monitors by 2 kilometers. It will increase the attack and hold by 5. So that's pretty significant, and also supply cost up here by 25%. And it will also allow for the pre dreadnoughts thing, ironclad, a massive plus 15 to both attack in the hole. And a 1 km per hour increase in max speed, which would make ironclads quite worthwhile. Right now, I have opted away from them, simply because when it comes to the amount of uh, supplies, supplies weights it uses compared to the monitor, the monitor is more cost effective and is also faster. But with the extra 15, that will allow the Ironclad to catch up quite a bit, considering it's worth two and a half monitors. And this will get 21 and 13. That will be a massive hole difference. We'll probably go for a, a few more Ironclads, maybe mix them up a little bit. Probably mix them up would be a good decision. Then soon we will hopefully get cruisers and then also some submarines, eventually. So submarines have... A good evasion stat, which is their main thing. So we'll see. Cruisers could be nice, and uh, eventually a dreadnoughts and battleships will be very, very nice. So we'll see what happens. I think, actually now, when we have discovered this, ironclads will be built. Some in Asia. 13 in Asia will be ordered, and 6 in Europe will be ordered. A massive naval investment. But our economy can do whatever we want. We have so much money, we don't even care. I do have a on alliance again, that is fine. Hopefully you don't betray us this time. Spain, what happened to Spain? They are at war with people. Did they just go broke? I think they might have gone broke. Or maybe someone else. Didn't have to be Spain. The British Commonwealth is over here with the nice little flag. They should really change to that flag in nowadays, since it represents them better. Though it doesn't represent Wales. Wales always gets forgotten in all of these things. And I like Wales' flag. This whole dragon thing, it's really really pretty. Also, I would like to learn Welsh someday. Only a little bit. I, I think I know Good Afternoon is Prynhonda. I believe. And Good Night is Nosda. That's all I know. And Prynhonda is such a cool phrase, that's the main reason I even try to learn it. So, maybe one day. I mean, I can barely learn Italian as it is, and I have tried for a long time and still have not succeeded, so... Yeah, languages, maybe not my strong point, but I do like them. They are very pretty to listen to, and also really cool to... to be able to say that I, I know one phrase in Welsh. 
And how many people can say that? Well, probably a lot of people. In, well, in uh, Wales, that is. But how many people outside? Probably a few. But not many. Not many. Whale. Oh, uh, speaking of whales, Crimea here wants an alliance. And that is interesting. They have no other allies but us. I thought they were on the Commonwealth side. But it seems not. So it seems we have taken over overlordship or protection of Crimea now as well. Which is interesting. And the Sublime Port or Sublime Port. Still haven't figured out what, what, what way to pronounce them. Also want an alliance. Hopefully it will last longer than three seconds this time. Hopefully. Maybe. Not expecting it to. And there's a lot of communists and people rising up. People want anti-pollution. Fine. Strict standards for pollution. We're way ahead of time. Way ahead of time. Alright. So status update. How's it going? Slight lead currently for the Danubian Confederation. They're winning some wars, but at the same time they are... Wait, I don't, it's not over. Yeah, they're winning the battles, but they're not winning when it comes to the occupations. So we'll see what happens there. Russia wants an alliance. Interesting. Very interesting. They have the Hetmanet and the Safavid Empire under their sphere. And now they have us as their ally, Russia. One of the nations I've been contemplating playing whenever I complete this run as Burgundy. Maybe as Novgorod, maybe as uh, Muscovy. I've also been uh, contemplating Aragon and France from, France from the Napoleon's legacy. Could also be fun. So yeah, there's uh, a few things you can do. Definitely. All right, we have now unlocked Phenomenology and Hermeneotic, which is a nice research point boost, picking that up immediately. That is in total 35, 55% extra research points, which would add up very nicely, very, very nicely. So remember how I mass produced teachers in this region. Yeah, a lot of people are now literate. A lot of people are. Well, I, I, I say 100% that it's four people there and they're Burgundian to begin with. But it seems most of them are, are doing well. When Doing really well when it comes to literacy. And it's increasing rapidly, as would be expected from the amount of teachers that we have available. So that's, that is really nice. We have this army ready. Actually, it's this army that's ready. Can, maybe you should make another one. Who knows? How many people can we recruit in Europe? Enough. We can do enough. Alright, so have some Dutch mobile artillery. They always seem to be very good with that. And Burgundian infantry because they're also really good. And then we have that light cavalry who's really eager to help out in all situations. There, yeah, Rhenish even. When can we do that decision to add Rhenish? Haven't we already done that? We have. They are accepted culture. Wonderful. Do you have any decisions left at all then to do? Uh, beyond the canal things, it doesn't seem like it. We have the address the nation thing that we can do when we have national radio networks to give us some extra prestige. The flaws of democracy. If we want to... Oh, it's the, it's the next update here. Minoan excavations, we need social science and the Macedonia will yeah we will probably not get that per permit since we smashed Macedonia before and then the Albanians turned on us like the turncoats they are. It's such a shame you can never trust any allies these days. Honestly playing Burgundy may be a bit too naive Helping out everyone who is willing to call you a friend and then getting surprised that they then turn around and don't call you a friend anymore. It's really the blame is on us. Frankfurt and mine wants an, another alliance that is completely and utterly fine by me. Okay, we have a plantation here. It's Niamey. I don't know where that is. Actually, do I know what it is? Niamey. 
Yeah, I had no idea where that was. So do we want to plant it with sugar, coffee, cotton, spices or tobacco? They are currently doing mafia, I was going to say. Grain. Grain is fine. But then again, we could have some more coffee. Oh no, I should have taken chocolate. Went, chocolate wasn't a, a thing, wasn't it? I don't think chocolate is a thing. If it isn't a thing, it needs to be a thing. This chocolate is um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. We have a lot of fruits. Producing a lot of the world's fruit. Gunpowder, a nice hole there. Canned food, we're producing a hell of a lot of. But that is needed since we have a big army. We are really bad when it comes to small arms. Need to get our production up. But we're making ammunition to make up for that. So maybe we can trade some ammunition to get some small arms. And then we can trade some artillery to get some more small arms. The World's Fair is beginning in Sofia this time. Not sure why they would put it in Sofia, but that's fine. That's fine. We can go there. Very, very soon we should have our work in down fully. And if I would be an idiot, I would say that's ready for war. But I'm not sure we want war at the moment. The British Commonwealth wants an alliance with us. So does half the world, apparently. Okay, cotton, spices, tobacco, sugar. Let's get some sugar, because we got... Oh, wait, we got coffee before. Well, some people like to have sugar in their coffee. So it makes, it makes sense to have that combination. Moldovia wants an alliance. That's also fine. We're spreading our wings. Let's see on the diplomatic map mode. We have a lot of allies. We are the new America. We're the United States of Burgundy. We have allies across the world. Aslan, are you not allying with us anymore? Oh, what happened, Aslan? What happened? Did you get a new mon- Oh, I think you got a new- You must have gotten a new government. That's really disappointing. So they're in a war now with Gran Colombia and we can't even help them. Oh my. They're gonna get their ass kicked, aren't they? We did help them get their capital back and now we have 60,000 men who's isolated. Well, let's get back to Plantagenia who's still our friend. For now at least. Who knows what will happen. That's probably for the best too since... Oh no, I know the real reason now Aslan. I, I forgive you, I see what you're doing. You do like us still, but you saw our war exhaustion, you saw how many wars we've been through, and you decided you cannot bring yourself to put us through another war so close to another one. So you broke the alliance and then declared war. I see what you're doing, Aslan. I forgive you. Thank you. You're a good friend. And please accept our alliance offer. No. Still trying to look out for us. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Good job. So what has happened in this very exciting war? It seems that uh, the Nubian Confederation is having the upper hand and have in fact been beating down on Hungary specifically who has lost a lot of military strength. But the face of Agamemnon? Oh, okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Spain wants to acquire Oran and Spain wants to acquire Tugurt. Ah, they're doing well over here, against the Aragonese Num Numidia. How's it going in Aragon itself? It's going pretty darn bad. Aragon is losing hardcore. And... Wait, is this a... What century are we now? Are they at war too? Ottoman liberation of Constantinople. Oh. This seems like it's from a different century, seriously. Having the Turks fight against the Venetians and the Byzantines. And having these galley fights in the middle of, well, the Adriatic Sea and uh, what's this other place called? The Ionian Sea and stuff like that. It seems taken from a different century. It also seems like the Sublime Port might be winning this conflict. They absolutely are and they might possibly take back Constantinople from from Macedonia. It is not unlikely at all. And the Nubian Confederation lost Aragon from the war and Spain won that part. So Spain achieved their war goals. Now the question is, 
will, how much will that hurt the rest of their allies? Because the war is now concentrated in the north here. Spain won't really be able to do much to help out. They can't really land anywhere in order to help them, unless they land over here in, in Danzig. Or Tuchel or whatever it's called. That's the only place they can land right now in order to get some troops to the battlefield. Everywhere else will be blockaded unless... Ah, of course, I missed this part. Here too. But anyway, they need to make a naval invasion on hostile territory in order to provide any kind of troop. And you know how bad the AI is when it comes to that. So with a source of war goal or really a source of... what's it called again? This is called victory score. With a source of victory score gone from Spain beating up Aragon, and with Spain's army essentially being useless, I think that was a good move from... Well, what do you call them? The Nubian Confederation, Commonwealth and Aragon. The triple powers, the Entente. It's a good move, ultimately giving them the upper hand. So I think it will be a, a swift victory from them now. I'm hoping at least. Now people want campaign for old age security and need to pay for old people being old and while that is usually not something I would like to do, sometimes it seems you have no choice. Acceptable pension, low state pensions. Let's just bite the bullet before we need to. We have the money to back it up. Even though just with the pensions we pay almost 9,000 a day. 9,000. Luckily, the middle class and the lower class are earning us crap tons of money. Just insane amounts of money. We will lower the taxes for the rich because we're earning so much money. And soon we will have the phenomenology and the hermeneutic. It's uh, a mouthful, a mouthful. Very soon we will get that. And now we can even go for another one. People are really pissed off in our country. There's so a lot of consciousness going around from the free press and the means of production, apparently. So we need to keep up with our, with our things. We can go for another national con conference if we would so desire. And uh, don't really decide that. It's 8,000 research points, which is a fair amount, honestly. It would go a halfway to getting one of these, but you would lose prestige from it. And prestige is pretty wonderful. Pretty decent. No complaints about prestige at all. Instead we will go for combustion engines so we can start making some automobiles and flood the world market with them. Apparently the rich decided to become more socialist. Fine by me, that just means you will want to pay more taxes. I have no complaints once again. So how many of our allies have actually stick around? All of them. That is a shock. Can I just turn this off please? National conference. Yes, there we go. You know what, I will actually press that button now, just to get rid of it entirely from the from the list. And I will also give... Look, we got... Wait, was it only 800 points? No, it was 8,000. It just takes one, it gives 100 per day. So let's see, that should... Um, should go on for quite a while. So we get more than half that tech done by giving up 25 prestige. Not sure if it's worth it, but it will save some days. It def most definitely will. Did I recruit any guys in Asia? No, but I did recruit in Africa. And I have some to transport over. Just remember them. This guy and this guy. And they will transport themselves all the way over here. Actually, all the way over here. And then we will have two more African units ready to go up and at it. And this is the stalemate of the century. That will never lead to anything useful. Oh, Sublime Port is calling us in. Ottoman restoration of order to the Kurd provinces against Kurdistan. You know, Turkey, I kind of want Kurdistan to be a thing. It just would seem interesting that way. So, at the same time, I need to accept. Did we get rid of all the war exhaustion? We did. Fine, we can go to war. 
Hopefully we shouldn't. Oh, we will get some more exhaustion due to our infamy, which is getting really low now too. So we can go into some conflicts to take over territory. That is something we can and probably will do. If nothing else, we should do. We have an obligation to our people to go to war as often and as beautifully as possible. We also have a dedication to... Well, we have the obligation to the people to recruit more men to fight these wars. And in Jubalpur, we can recruit all of the mobile artillery we need. And I need to find out where you can recruit more people. Here we can recruit more people. One light cavalry. Actually two light cavalry. And here we have the rest of the mobile artillery. And some infantry. So it gives us the, the light cavalry, the mobile artillery, and now we just need five, nine more infantry. Nine more. Can we do this? We can. Now we need seven more. Where can we find this? Here we can. Infantry, infantry. Six. Wait, how much was that in? Seven. All right, we can just supplement if we did mess up at some point. I just can't count at the moment. I don't know if you've heard throughout this video any background noise because it's been raining against the window. So I don't know if that is caught up by by the recording or if it manages to get swept away when I do the noise cancellation thing and noise removal process afterwards. There's a lot of craftsmen here and I'm very happy about that. And there's also no unemployed workers in the whole galaxy. The only thing we can do now to affect the economy is to open all the factories again. Which we can do. We're losing here apparently, which means that they have gotten a hold of more, more colonial power. And we don't have any colonial power because everything is tied up there. If we did get rid of that colonial power, then maybe we could colonize somewhere else. No, we need the Dark Continent. And shouldn't the Dark Continent happen soon? Well, we got a combustion engine and apparently that has a negative effect on pop growth. Which is an interesting thing. And also factory throughput and then has a bunch of other... A bunch of other... Oh, it has a nice boost to modern cruisers. And advanced battleships. Allows construction of battleships. I did not know that came from combustion engine. That is very interesting. And unexpected. Wait, did I see diplomatic influence? Colonial power points. Let's get this one. To see if we can get some more colonial power. And maybe, yes maybe, we can beat them over there. Speaking of which, I haven't upgraded naval bases in ages. So we can do that here. I'm not sure they will be completed in time in order to help us win that battle. But it might be worth it. It just might. This might, might be worth it. There, yeah, that's some naval bases, alright. I think these are up in fighting shape. They are, most definitely. Just the one in Africa that is a bit far behind and maybe some in Asia, but I'm not gonna go through all every single province to see if they have an updated naval base or not. My prediction seems to be going well, at least partially. The Commonwealth is getting their face beat in by Bohemia, and Hungary is getting their face beat in by Commonwealth and Hungary, and now they lost. So there was, seems to be my assumption was correct. They did unify Österreich. Good job, the Nubian Confederation. Hats off to you, good sirs. Even though you have a limited amount of cores. And uh, wait, that wasn't part of the core. But maybe now they can unify Germany. Maybe. It seems trouble is brewing in Österland. Why? Let's take a look at this crisis. It seems... Um, what is this? The Belgian Confederacy acquired Österland from Vinland. Alright, oh god. Belgian Confederacy, you're disgusting. 
You're absolutely hor horrifying me. So they want to have even more territory from poor Vinland over here. Yeah. It seems Scandinavia has decided to back the Belgian Confederacy. Interesting. So Scandinavia has a grudge with the former empire, just like us actually. It's interesting. Scandinavia hates Vinland. We hate the Belgian Confederacy, our spawn in North America. So we will most definitely, if we can join the side, join in on... Why aren't we allowed to join in? I want to be part of this too. No, I'm at war. Damn Kurdistan. Okay, France, make a good decision. Strongly inclined to support Scandinavia. That's a bad decision. That's a bad decision. Russia is leaning more towards supporting Scandinavia. God damn it. The one time you had the chance to do something right and you blow it. Just fail at it. It's disgusting me. Plantagenia we can add to Sphere. There. Beautiful. And then we have um, Frankfurt am Main. I wish you could just get to Frankfurt am Main there immediately. But Frankfurt am Main, we can increase opinion there. There we go. We're now friendly with them. And Plantagenia we're now friendly with. And then beyond that we have a lot of people in our spheres and a lot of people caring about what we have in our spheres. The New Bing Confederation is trying to wrestle away the German lands from us, which is probably fair enough. Probably. Rebellion in our ally. The Bengali government has been toppled. How did they manage? They have a million men everywhere. But apparently they are now a civilized nation with a parliamentary monarchy. Uh, we can either go to war against them, which would make them hate us, meaning they wouldn't ally us anyway, or we can do this and they will like us. And maybe now we can we can probably get them back through influence. I don't think anyone else is in any way caring as much as we are. Apart from the French, apparently. But that's bad. That, that gives us a hole in our line over here. These men cannot just go to back to Hindustan. They need to be ferried. And that is... That is not nice. That is not beautiful in any way. But that will be a mission for the future. And then we need to figure out what to do with the Pityan Chachara. And also Kurdistan needs to go away post haste because we can't be bothered to be at war. We missed out on a good, good, good crisis and there's been too few of them as of late. So now we can't even defend our little friend Vinland over here. Thank you for watching and have a good one.